Hi, everyone. Mr. Hawkins with Hawkins Tech. And iOS 26.2 RC has been out for about one day. And in this video, I'm going to go over some of my favorite features as well as a feature I missed in my What's New video yesterday in iOS 26.2 RC. Now, first, I'm going to go over a feature I missed, and that is in the News app. In the news app, they redesigned the interface a little bit. If we take a look underneath the date where it says December 4th, we now have categories in the news app. And that kind of reminds me of what they did a year ago with the mail app. If you guys remember this last year, because I most certainly do, from iOS 18.2, how we have this mail app where we have primary transactions, updates, promotions and then they've redesigned it with some ios 18 updates where the all mail section was kind of cropped if we scroll all the way to the right we have our all mail section and that was last year with ios 18.2 and now we have it again with the news app category interface updates we have sports we have puzzles politics And we have some other updates, even a food section. So that is a really nice change that Apple did to the news app, and I really like it a lot. Now, as far as some of my favorite features, that being one of them, if we go to the lock screen, press and hold on the lock screen, and we give it a second here. We have a slider to adjust the liquid glass. If I slide it all the way to the left, and I misspoke in my video yesterday, having a darker wallpaper is pretty great for having this slider. So if you adjust it all the way to the left, you would be able to see the time. Adjusting it all the way to the right is sort of a transparent sort of look, or a frosted look rather. To get that transparent look, you would want to adjust it all the way to the left. This is new in iOS 26.2 RC, or this is new as a whole in iOS 26.2. Another feature in iOS 26.2 is if I go into settings, general, and airdrop, we have a new feature here. And it says manage known airdrop senders or contacts rather. You open it up, it will bring you into the contacts app. So that is a really nice feature. And I found out that Google Pixel phones can airdrop to iPhone and iPhone can airdrop to Android. On Google's end, they have their feature called Quick Share. I got to see if it works on Samsung. If I do, I will make a video on it later today to see if One UI 8 and iOS 26.2 RC can airdrop to each other. And if they can, I will airdrop these two wallpapers to the Samsung Galaxy A15 5G. And I will make a video for you guys demonstrating how it works. As far as other features in iOS 26.2, well, one of my favorite features is the way they changed animations. Animations kind of pop out. They sort of pop out where it's like a bouncy effect. And it is really nice in this update and you get that across a lot of the apps so i'm not sure how to make it show up in podcasts but if i go into photos here take a look at how it bounces
That is honestly a really good feature in iOS 26.2 RC. And it should stick around in the final release. They've done some updates to measure where it has sort of liquid glass sort of bubbles. And within the Freeform app, if I go into that and I start on a new board, I don't exactly know how to get to this feature, but you have tables within Freeform. That is a really nice feature in iOS 26. Point two. Now, there is a feature that I want to cover on the iPad. A lot of the same features are on the iPad, but there is an update to an existing feature that I do want to cover. A feature on the iPad that was updated is split view and slide over. So if I go into it here, into photos, and I'm just going to flick this window to the left here. So now, as you can see, I just flicked the window to the left. Then we're going to go into settings. And now we have slide over or we have split view rather. And you can tell that it's split view because you have this little grabber here. So if I drag it to the left, for whatever reason, both of these windows are giving me a space when I drag them too far to the left or right. But... We have this new sort of way we can use split view. Now, I'm going to bring in slide over into the calendar. We can now drag and drop within the windowing system as well to use slide over with split view. Now, honestly, that's one of my favorite changes with iPad OS 26.2. So leave a comment down below if you're using that feature. As far as any other features in iOS 26.2, well, those are the main majority of features. Leave a comment down below if I missed any features. But I like the fact that we have the new liquid glass slider on the lock screen where you can adjust the overall sort of transparency. You can make it super thin or you can make it super bright. But I would keep it at least about halfway, which is about here. But I really like the fact that you have that feature in iOS 26.2 along with the update to AirDrop and also split view and slide over updated where both apps will go in Though, when you press and hold on the traffic light buttons and you press go into slide over, the app won't take over the whole left side of the display. You have to flick both windows and you pretty much could do that before iPadOS 26.2. But I think now they probably updated it to allow with drag and drop and bring slide over in which I don't think was in iPadOS 26. And now it's here with iPadOS 26.2. As far as what we can see next from Apple, well, next week, the week of December 8th, I would expect the final release of iOS 26.2. If we get a build number change, which the current build number, if I go into settings, under general software updates, the current build number is 23C52. If that changes maybe to 23C53, then everyone is going to have an update. If you want to see that update, you'll just have to go into your software updates, go to beta updates, and you'll have to turn off beta updates. If you are a developer or a public beta tester, I'm a late stage beta tester, which means if this update was beta 4, I would have updated to it. But since Apple skipped beta 4, I still ended up updating straight to the RC because I'm a late stage beta tester. So we could see that update. If Apple changes the build number, we're going to get iOS 26.2 released to everyone. Just turn off your beta updates. However, if Apple keeps the build number of 23C52, then 
I basically will already have the update. Everyone else will have to have the update by going to software updates and updating to iOS 26.2. And when it does come out, I am going to make a what's new video going over all the changes with liquid glass, the new slider, and all the features and on the iPad as well. Whilst I will already have the update, I'm still going to have a what's new video letting everyone else know that the update has been released. Then we get iOS 26.3 beta 1. I will not be updating to that. Then we won't have anything after that until the week of January 5th. When we will get iOS 26.3 beta 2, the second week of January, I would expect a third beta, then an RC, which I will be installing, then a final release, all the way until June, where we will get iOS 27. And we haven't heard much about iOS 27 other than the fact that iOS 27 could be bringing stability. Now, fortunately, iOS 27 will not be dropping support for the iPhone 12, though I still got to get me a new iPhone. As unfortunately, this phone, I am planning on upgrading due to storage wise so I can have a lot more storage. But it's good that the iPhone 12 and A14 Bionic chip models will be compatible with iOS 27. Though the iPhone 11 and iPhone SE second generation, I feel like could be dropped. The reason why I say the SE second generation, though it came out in 2020, that has the A13 Bionic chip like the iPhone 11. So I feel like Apple could drop support for the iPhone 11, iPhone 11 Pro, iPhone 11 Pro Max, as well as the iPhone SE second generation, leaving the iPhone SE 3 and all iPhone 12 models and newer compatible with iOS 27. But we won't know that until at least June of 2026. Now, I won't be installing the beta, not early on anyway, but when it is beta 8, or beta 7, I will be updating to it then, but that's going to be later in 2026. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Mr. Hawkins with Hawkins Tech, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.